Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st, Monday through Thursday, for my Aquariuses. How are you, my Aquarians? Now, you know that I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. I'll pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, Happy New Year. We are coming to the end of 2020. 2021 will be coming then on Friday, so Happy New Year. We also have on the 29th at, okay, I've got a card that has flipped over. Oh, two cards. Uh, on the 29th at 10.28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have our full moon. It is in Cancer. It is the 13th full moon of the year. The year started with the full moon in, tw in Cancer, and it ends. So let's hope that this puts an end to the... To whatever 2020, whatever the lessons we were supposed to learn from 2020, okay? Let's have them learned. And that's really important for you, my Aquarians, because we are in Capricorn season. And this is where you want to get as much things resolved and learned. So when it goes into your season, it's all nice, bright, and shiny. So I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power, whatever the message my job just deliver it. Let's see. We have three cards. Nothing's reversed. Reversed has a little extra oomph to it. I told you about the full moon. Remember, you can start three days before to three days after. Release what it is, you know, you, what's holding you back. Relinquish what you don't need anymore and request. Request what it is you do need and what it is that you would like. Okay? If you don't ask, the answer is always a no. Write it down, because we do have the new year, New Year's resolutions. But the thing about this energy, and especially important for you, my Aquarius, is speak it out. We have to keep our thoughts, our words positive. We have to keep our vibrations really high, okay? But speak it out. Now, let's see what we have for my Aquarians Monday through Thursday. Well, right off the bat, you know, we're seeing a couple of things here. We're seeing that we have the Ace of Ariel. Ace has had that new start, new beginning. So are you starting a new job or a new career? Are you going back to school or are you going to school? Because this is, Ariel is your earth energy, very tangible, something, someone you can touch. It is Capricorn. We are in Capricorn season. Um, it also Taurus, Virgo, but it's something you can touch. A lot of times this has to do with your money and how you create your money. Is there, you know, this this is like a new opportunity in how you're going to create your money, how you're going, what it is you're going to be doing. So I would say, is this a new job? Is this a promotion in your job? Do you have new duties in your job? Because there is very much, there's a settlement here. There is a, well, okay, I don't know. that When I said settlement, maybe there is a settlement. Maybe there's a bonus with this too. But I'm feeling like there is a, you know, like the foundation is very, very firm with this position right here. So, but then we have the eight. We have eight, which is the opportunities, and we have justice. We have um, Archangel Raguel. I'm kind of feeling like these need to be taken together. So whatever this is, this is this is like the universe kind of coming. You know, I, I talked about a lot of, you know, in the, in the Capricorn overview, that there's a lot of earth karmic resolution coming here or being done with this and we're transitioning into an age of Aquarius so there's a lot of of kind of this universal justice this universal karmic resolution so these two kind these two feel very very um connected for me for you okay they feel very connected it's kind of like this is what was supposed to be happening. This is what there is a. This is what you're being. Why you're what you were meant for. This was meant. I should put. This was meant for you. Okay, okay. So these are these are like like I said. These are joined together in kind of this metaphysical energy here. Now, the Ace of Ariel 
It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support, a change in job, or promotion. And then, like I said, Justice Archangel Raguel. So remember, keep the name. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. So this, like I said, for whatever reasons, and why it doesn't have to make sense to me, these two are together. This is together. So this could be something that you should, you know, maybe there was a job, I'm giving you an example, maybe there was a job you should have gotten, you know, when cancer, full moon, maybe you were, you know, on the precipice of getting this really good job, and then it just went away. Well, this, it could definitely be coming back. There is justice. This is universal justice. This is coming back. It's coming back. Okay? Hope that made sense. Here we go. Your last card. The Five of Raphael. Now, Raphael is your water energy. It is your Pisces, your Cancer. It's your Scorpio. It's your fluid energy. It's fluid. It's emotional energy. Remember, we have Cancer that full moon, so that people do get a little bit more um, worked up around full moons with that. Fives have some change energy to it. When we go into 2021, there, that you know, if you take those numbers, add them up, there will that comes to a five. Change can be positive, it can be negative. It could also be kind of this, you know, whatever this is, you know, don't there's an emotional there's emotional response here, okay? I don't always feel that way with these, but I'm feeling like there's an emotional response. And you may be feeling like if only this happened a year ago, or if only I had started this, if only, I feel like there's a lot of if only, if onlys. Whatever the foundation was, whatever, you know, there, you know, whatever this if only, yeah, you know, if only, that's wonderful. You know, we can always go back to the if onlys, but that, that's, that's too much in the past. We have to deal with the now. We have to deal with the now. And you've been going through a lot of reconciliation. You've been going with a lot of reestablishment of a lot of relationships. So it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to feel this way, but don't stay there. Don't stay there, my Aquariuses, okay? Don't stay there. You've got to move on because this is, this is very karmic to me. This is very much, this is the way it was supposed to have been. Um, sorry that it was late. But sometimes things are late. And, I, and I'm feeling like the universe is saying that, not me. I, I mean, I'm sorry it's late too, but I feel like the universe is saying, I'm sorry it's late, but better late than never. And, you know, you weren't ready for it. You know, even though you might be saying, yeah, I really was. I really was. Ah, okay. Anyway, everything happens for a reason. Release regret. And embrace the opportunities for ha happiness. Search for the silver lining. And the thing, and, and I know, it, it's kind of like, you know, if this would have, you know, if this would have happened, then this would have happened, this would have happened. The thing is, sometimes things are held because you might not be ready for them or because those other things weren't supposed to happen. They wouldn't have been beneficial for you, okay? But you were still, again, these two are so joined they're so joined. You know, you're going to have to tell me, my Aquarians, what that means to you. Okay? Okay. Here we go. And maybe this is not, you know, maybe this is, you know, this is that thing of wanting more, too. Wanting more. Um, no? No. Okay. I thought maybe. I thought maybe they jumped on my, car, my arm, but they didn't fall onto the table. Here we go. Here we are. Last card reversed. Page of air. Now this is your your energy. Okay, your energy. Um, you know, also Gemini, also Libra. Thought processes, thinking, making your plans. Page has an Earth energy as their underlying energy, and that's a lot of times has to do with work okay, or money, or something that, you know, so this is also, you know, so we have this work energy, we have this air energy, we have the page who is enthusiastic, wants to get down to it, but yet this is thinking about it all, thinking about all the ins and outs of everything, 
think, you know, and, the, and this is this worries me a little bit about you, my Aquarians. You may overanalyze it a little bit too much, okay? But this is basically saying just get to work and get it done. Just start. Just start. Don't think. Don't think. Just do. Okay? Okay. Logical, honest, impulsive, curious. Challenging information, delays or change to plans, truth delivered without tact. But I am getting don't think, just do. Don't think, just do. So, now let's see Emily Anderson crystal card. What crystal or element would be good for my Aquarians? Here we go. This one is also reversed. Sapphire. Oh, I like sapphire. I, sap I don't have sapphire here, though. Anyway, channeled wisdom, psychic ability, self-expression, destiny. I, like I said, I feel like this is what you were supposed to be doing, whatever this is. It, you were just supposed to be doing. This was, you know, it, you know better late than never. I, I know it, those are platitudes, and you want to kind of say, yeah, thanks. It would have been better before, but don't, don't, you know, don't just... Don't say no until you really think about it. And like I said, don't think, just do. Okay? Okay. Psychic ability, self-expression, destiny. So, interesting way to end the year, huh? Okay. So my Aquarians, remember the button. You know what to do with all of that. Like, share, subscribe. But most importantly, besides wishing you a happy new year, Always know that you are loved, my Aquariuses. Keep your light shining, okay? And be blessed. Bye-bye.